Well, it's a Thursday night and it's the end of July here in Chelsea. So we're gonna run into a couple of galleries and see what's going on. We're gonna start out at Mike Weiss. We're gonna take a look at the reflexive self. Here's the first piece. This is by Dead Dad's Club Corporation and it's titled I'm Sorry. This is actually Crayola Krenz on cotton paper. It's actually very nicely rendered. And the Crayolas kind of give you an odd stippling effect on there. Oh, this is a triptych by Chris Knight titled Skeleton Closet. And this kind of makes me think of uh, Barnaby Whitfield. Oh, here's some chunky, scruffy expressionism. This is by Stephanie Guthiel, titled Bubbles. She's got a lot of paint slathered on there, but she's also got some fabrics collaged in there. This is by our old friend Kim Dorland. This is titled Red Trees. Oil ink acrylic on wood panel. And one of the things I kind of like about Kim's work is that he's a Canadian artist and this kind of focuses on the edge of where the punk slacker attitude hits the wilderness. Jesus. He was really starting to stick these lumps of paint on there. It'll be interesting to see how that holds up. Well, here's the back gallery. This is also by the Dead Dads Club Corporation. It's titled, Hi Dad, Send Money. 79 by 115 inches. It's Crayola on cotton paper. You're over Hitler? I'm just over Hitler. I'm no longer shocked by Hitler pictures. Really? Uh, thank you for filming me. <laughs> You're welcome. It's like, what's going on on the wall? I, I, I had the same feeling myself. Like, but would you would you feel like that if it was Barack Obama? Like at least that might be a little bit more contemporary. It's like we've done the Hitler conceptual art thing. We've but done I'll, it. I'll still we've done it for a long time. time. All right. You're beating the words of death. What is this one? Is this Reagan? Uh, no, this is actually um, I think human ash that he's using to create the images with. These are by Mark. Seguin and uh, this is called Success and Failure of Abstract Art number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. And it's oil and human ash on canvas. And we'll wrap up with this view of Kim Dorlin. This is for Seymour. Some of these sections, it looks like he's uh, scraping off big hunks of things we left on his palette. This is nice because he's actually got those uh, screwed on with sheetrock screws. Okay, let's run on. Oh, we're here on the street and people are drinking out here again. We're going to probably see the cops come by and bust them. But we're going to run in here at Freight Volume to see a show titled OK Mountain Benefit Plate. I guess the main attraction here is this trailer, barbecue pit, kitchen, carnival trailer. Oh, there's James Wagner. Traveling bar. 
get a roll of disposable diapers, huh? Okay, that's always handy. Well, it looks like we've got a very expansive redneck entertainment center here. This. We've got our own little toilet here with the toilet paper roll and the boxing glove. Oh, yes. Don't worry, folks, it's all plastic. I was just talking to Nick Lawrence, the proprietor here, and he told me that OK Mountain is actually a consortium of artists all working. And they're here from Austin, Texas. And we'll see if we can snag one of these guys. Okay, hey, we rounded up some of the OK Mountain artists. So, is this your first trip to New York? Not the first trip to New York. It's our first show in New York. First show in New York, good for you. Yeah. You want to tell me your names? I'm Carlos Rosales Silva. Carlos Rosales Silva, how about you? I'm Quirky Sinks. Quirky? Well, yeah, that's better than quirky, but I don't know. Josh Rios. Okay, tell tell me about the project. Okay, Mountain. Is that too hard? It's just a maximal like uh, sculpture that embraces Texas, the summer, fun, and that's and making stuff Customize. together, customizing. Yeah, basically things. customization culture when it comes to, um, you know, we live in Austin, and Austin's a huge, huge football town, so when it comes down to football games. They play football in Texas? They play a lot of God, football. Who would, who would have known? Yeah, Jeez. Would have but anyway, um, tailgating culture and lower. Okay, culture, right. All mashed up, like mashed up. Mashed up. Yeah. So thinking about the way people customize their personal, you know, areas and uh, like a barbecue trailer, people really go the extra mile to put their personal aesthetics into things. So kind of a loving tribute to that as well. Right. It looked like you were doing a lot of loving tributes to toilets. It's, so what's what's happening on the, the art scene in Austin these days, or in Texas in general? Uh, well, there's a lot of good things. Houston is huge, of course. Uh, Houston is huge. Houston is a huge city with an international airport, so you know they get. They got money there. They got some oil money there. You might have heard okay. of oil. Okay. Uh, vaguely, it. yeah. Comb our hair. Basically, Austin is a pretty young town. You know, we have a huge university there. A lot of slackers there. Isn't that the birthplace slacker. of slacker culture? <laughs> no, you're right about that. There's a lot of slackers. I mean, that was where it all started. I mean, Austin is like an incubator for a lot of people. Do you think there's a Texas aesthetic? I don't think that there's a Texas aesthetic, but I think that we have a aesthetic that comes out of some like mixings with UT. Like I think Mike Smith has like a big foot, like it, footprint sort of this kind of idea. I don't know if you're familiar with Mike Smith's work. Uh, he's he's like a huge. And what is it? What what? I mean, give me a generalization well, like about half, the aesthetic. Okay, it's like slight. It's like performance, but also making. Um, like environments, like stores, like he made a lighting store where he was pretending to be a salesman that sold like uh, like different kinds of lighting, party lighting, and things like that. Okay. Games, he's made games like this game called Take Off Your Pants. Okay, Mountain. Okay, Mountain. Thanks, folks. All right, you're welcome. Oh, well, there are the police officers. I knew they were going to show up. Come with me. So we've been taking a look at OK Mountain. Benefit plate down here at Freight Volume. Thanks, Kate.